Hi everyone, this is Brian with Anderson Pens, and today we're gonna to take a look at the Penlux Masterpiece Grande. Let's take a look. All right, so let's take a look at the Penlux Masterpiece Grande. We're gonna take a look at the box, the packaging, we'll take a look at the pen, and then I'll show you the other uh, colors that are available. But here's the box. Um, your standard, it, it's qu actually quite a large box, um, much bigger than say a standard uh, sailor box. Uh, but uh, a little cutout for the Penlux logo, we'll take that off. And uh, you know, basically standard cardboard box. And in here, now what I do like about it is the pen is actually wrapped in a cute little Ziploc bag. Uh, what do we got under here? We've got the, some paperwork, but you wanna see this, so let's get this out of the way. So it comes in this little bag. And it's got the uh, identification mark. And we're gonna pull it out. And then here is a kind of a plastic bookmark almost, if you will. Um, gives your warranty, tells you how to use the, the piston. Do not go that way. Do not twist the nib, we'll talk about that. Uh, so that's cute, but this is what you came here for. This is the Penlux Masterpiece Grande. Now this is a very large pen. Uh, we'll show you a comparison later, but it's girthy. It has a beautiful um, roller clip here. You can see that. That's gonna make it easy to slide in and out of the pocket. Uh, a nice uh, cap band here with the Penlux logo, and then it's got this little detail on it on the top and the bottom here of the ring. Um, nice ring down here for the piston. We're gonna open it up. Now these carry a Yovo number six nib, and it's available in fine, medium, or 1.1 stub. It's got the Penlux logo engraved on there, um, so you can tell. But same fee that you're gonna see on any other Yovo branded pen. So your Edison's, your Franklin Kristoff's, um, you know, just about anything else that uses a Yovo nib, this is, you, you know what you're gonna be getting here. So this one happens to be a medium, it's marked on the base. Now these nibs are not like other Yovo nibs in that you can twist to take it out, which is in fact what the plastic card here is telling you. You can't, the nib doesn't come out. What it looks like they've done is they've uh, secured the, uh, the collar here that the nib and the feet slide into, they've secured it into the section. So this nib comes out friction fit only and it only goes in one way, so. Uh, you could, this also means you could replace this nib with uh, an Anderson nib, maybe you've got a 1.5 or an extra fine or something, or any other number six nib you could slide in here uh, to replace if uh, maybe you, do, you don't like the fine, medium, and 1.1 stub options, but maybe you want a broad or that extra fine, you can take this out and put in any other Yovo number six nib. Um, friction fit, and that's all there is to it. The pen is a piston filler, and it has a really nice, smooth piston. Um, you can't see it on this model because it's black, but we'll show you in another model. The, the, this is a very pleasing, it's not, it's not difficult like some, some pistons are. It's very smooth. Uh, it's very nice. In the hands, unposted. It does post. It's, it, it's, it's a big pen posted. Um, very much almost, uh, you know, Mont Blanc 149 size in that respect. It, 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 it does, it's not off too off balance. If you've got smaller hands, I wouldn't recommend it. But um, if you don't have a problem posting with the King of Pen or, or 149, this, this is actually not too bad. Um, all right, let's take a look at the other uh, colors available and then we'll do some comparisons. Okay, so there are basically two series with the Penlux Masterpiece Grande. We have the first series here. Uh, we've already seen the black. Uh, the next one is quite lovely, the blue swirl. Uh, nice, nice material. And you'll see they, they color match the section to the rest of the body, which is a nice, nice uh, touch. Uh, my, maybe my next two favorites, the black koi and the blue koi. And here on the blue coil, you can actually see through the barrel. And if we move the piston, you can actually see, see that going up and down. You can see the piston head there move. 
So you have a pretty decent, decent capacity. I like that this one is uh, semi, you know, translucent, a little bit transparent. Um, if you have a really neat color ink, it's really gonna, it's gonna show through on these black and blue kois. Um, you know, some kind of contrasting color, or something be neat. But those are the, uh, the mostly solid colors. And then there are four more that are more uh, solid translucent. So we've got the uh, Deep Sea, which is this lovely translucent uh, teal almost. Uh, Rainforest, this kind of olive green, but it has this rose gold trim. It's really, really nice looking. Uh, the Daybreak, which is a translucent red with uh, yellow gold trim. And then the last one here is the Cloudy Bay, which is uh, a limited edition. And it's actually marked here, Penlux, Grande, Cloudy Bay, and then they made 388 um, of these pens. Uh, and this one is a, a good one to show too. You can see it's got the nice gold collar here to match the nib. And then you can see everything in there. Now it is, it's cloudy like the, like the name suggests. But boy, that's, that's neat to see. You see the, the brass piston mechanism. Nice, nice looking uh, set of pens here. There's really not a bad, bad color in here. Um, this is really, really nice with this different colored rose gold trim. You see it down here by the piston, the cap band. Uh, it does use the standard yellow gold nib. So it's a little bit different there. Um, but really, really a nice, nice looking pen. Now, I said we were gonna compare it to some other pens you're familiar with. So let's take a couple of these out of the way here and I'll show you how big this pen is. So first off, we've got right here the Mont Blanc 149. So you can see that's really pretty, pretty spot on. And then here's your King of Pen. Now King of Pen's always a, a little bit bigger uh, than the 149 in a um, capped mode. Put that in the middle. So you can see those are fairly, and the girth on them is fairly, uh, fairly consistent. Uh, if anything, it looks like it might be even a little bit girthier than the 1911 uh, King of Pen. Let's see how they look posted. There's the King. And it is a solid post too. When it posts on that ring, it's really, it's not gonna come off. Here's the 149. So it's very comparable. Now the nib is uh, certainly uh, smaller than on the King of Pen and on the, the, 90, uh, the 149 here. But uh, you can see it's actually a, quite a long pen and maybe even longer than the, the 1911. So it's gonna have some good girth. If you like a fat pen, uh, a larger girth pen, in a piston filler, this is really a, a solid choice and the price is uh, something that's not even 25% of either of these two. So let's, uh, let's do a writing sample, ink one up and let's, uh, let's see how it goes. Okay, so I've got the black Penlux Masterpiece Grande here. I've got a medium nib on it. Uh, I've got my Rhodia number 16 lined pad and I have my Kobe 44 uh, Sumara Seaside Blue, uh, ready to ink it up. So let's uh, let's see how this works. Just gonna put it in there and rotate that piston knob counterclockwise. There we go. Wipe it off and let's give this a spin. Okay, so this guy's got a medium nib and uh, it's gonna write pretty much like all, like I say, the, most of the rest of your Yovo nibbed pens, but let's, uh, let's see how this one goes here. So, first, uh, first impression, it writes quite nice. Um, like I say, it writes similar to my Edison's or my Franklin Christophs. Uh, it is a firm nib. There's no flexibility to it. Um, but this is a very nice medium and it lays down a pretty, pretty nice line.
and this is a rhodium ish so steel yeah. so it's not rhodium plated but it sort of looks like if it were for gold it would be rhodium it's a nice nice look for the trim so it writes nice um, definitely uh, nothing to complain about the smoothness of the nib in all directions it, uh, it, it writes very nice let's try it with uh, post it let's see if that makes any difference now, I definitely can tell you can sense the a uh, little more of the back weightiness on this And if anything, it's maybe a little bit harder to write quicker because and now I'm moving um, the way I move the pen, I'm moving the, the cap around a little bit, but it's still doable. And if you're just writing, if you're not trying to write fast and it's not really an issue at all, but it does, it does work uh, posted. And I can see myself doing it either way, depending on how long I'm going to write. So Penlux Masterpiece Grande, piston filler, king of pen size. Uh, under 200 bucks. Really, really nice, nice pen. So there you have it, the Penlux Masterpiece Grande. Be sure to check us out online at andersonpens.com or our stores in Appleton in Chicago. Thanks for watching.